I joined the military initially because I felt like it was my only option to either force myself into manhood somehow or die. I wouldn't say that I felt like I was in the wrong body as much as I was in the wrong role. Gender boils down to a lot more than just your physical form. Until recently, Alana was known as Ryan. I joined the United States Army Special Forces. My job was still a combat role. I was a shooter first. I fought, you know, like I did all the things you're supposed to do. I lifted weights, I grew a beard, I ride a Harley. It didn't change anything. You know, I was still crying myself to sleep at night. You might notice in pretty much all of these pictures you will not see a smile anywhere. I just really wasn't a very happy person at the time. I mean, I was very conscious that I was playing a part that wasn't really me. I felt forced into something. I sort of constructed this false personality that was just a combination of action heroes that I could think of as very much the stoic, violent male archetype. I don't really see myself. I see almost like an empty suit of armor. I was trying very hard to meet the expectations that society and my family put on me. Alana had a troubled childhood. She knew from a young age that she identified as female. She was also a victim of sexual abuse. I had two prayers growing up. One was that my rapist would stop, and the other one was that God would either change my body and make me a girl, or change my mind where I wouldn't want to be. And neither one of those prayers was ever answered. Um, so I kind of, I lost my faith at a very early age. I told my parents that I was gay and that I felt like I was a girl and I wanted to be a girl. They think that the reason I'm transgender is that I was sexually abused as a child. Sexual abuse does not change your sexuality, it doesn't change your gender. So when I first told my parents this, my dad didn't talk to me for like a week or two weeks. They would not accept me as their daughter. I would only ever be their son and even as their son I was a massive disappointment. Leaving the army in 2010, Alana made her first attempt to transition with devastating consequences. I had been on hormones long enough that I had some breast development, but then of course I gave up on transition and felt like I could never do it, it was never going to work, I would only ever be a joke. And I went back to lifting weights and everything and I didn't want to be a man with boobs. I uh, went into the bathroom in the mirror and removed what breast tissue I had. I used, you know, number 10 blade scalpel. I would say that was a pretty self-destructive thing to do. I can relate quite well to what Alana's been through, myself being a trans woman and having similar experiences and difficulties throughout the process to transition and dealing with how society and life generally treat us and the roadblocks that we face while encountering that. With the support of close friends, Alana finally felt confident enough to have surgery. Very recently, in the past two months, had all of the surgeries I ever wanted, basically. I've had a breast augmentation. I've had vaginoplasty or sex reassignment surgery. Basically, my Audi has been made an innie. I also had facial feminization surgery. I've had a lot of things change since I transitioned. The way people interact with me, especially men, and it's funny, I'll get into conversations with people about military matters and they'll try to tell me that I don't know what I'm talking about. You can start to see a different confidence and comfort in oneself, being that you're no longer looking or dealing with surgical healing, but actually a, a settled state of being. Yeah, I'm actually my own person now. I don't feel like I'm faking anymore. I don't have to put on this, this facade and I actually get to be a real person now. And so life is a lot better. I really got into metal work because to me it was almost a sort of magic to take something cold and lifeless, like a lump of iron and with the proper catalyst, in this case fire, you make it into something beautiful and delicate but strong at the same time. And to me that 
was very much an apt metaphor for my own life and my own transformation, I guess, was, you know, this element of change and to make something beautiful.